uh, I will show you the resources to download if you're interested. Uh, all the software I'm going to show is going to be free. Uh, so there's no need for you to pay any license fee or, or, or anything. So all these are fairly uh, powerful tools uh, that have been around uh, uh, in the uh, online for a very long time. All right. So I'm going to share. Uh, so first, I'm going to start off with the, um, the download resources that you can get uh, this software. All right, um, so the uh, very uh, first software, you don't need to download anything. Um, the, uh, all you need to do uh, is to just go to this uh, makercase.com. Uh, it's uh, online software. Uh, so you can see uh, down here, it has already, uh, let me just go back a bit. Huh? All right, there we go. Uh, so we, if you are able to go online, take a look, uh, you can just uh, search for this makercase.com. Uh, so uh, this is an open source um, kind of uh, uh, online free software that uh, community has come up with to help folks um, uh, make very nice stuff uh, very easily. Right, so uh, in this uh, 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 box making software, they are actually, uh, as you can see, uh, there's multiple selection. So, in, uh, so you can just make a simple box with the, the finger join. Or you can make a polygon box with a finger join uh, also. So what I'm going to do today is just to run through uh, how would I use it uh, to make a cat house. So in the example that we saw on the Veron's uh, slide, um, so you can see that uh, likely, very likelihood uh, the, um, uh, the folks who, who, who did that uh, probably use the same software. And this is about the about the same design. So if you were to translate this into the uh, software, I'm gonna show you. Uh, so once you click on it, then it's actually quite simple. Uh, right. Okay, so the um the the, the software is actually quite quite uh, quite easy to use. Uh, let me just see. Go back again. Now. sorry. Let's try this one more time. All right. Okay, so the um, so if I just guide you through, so first thing they'll ask you uh, what kind of unit uh, that you want to, uh, to use. I think down here in Singapore, uh, most of us don't use inch, we use a uh, uh, millimeter. So in this case, I'll just use a uh, millimeter. Uh, then the software will also ask you uh, how many sites you want uh, for the box that you want to create. So in this case, I'm going to select five, but I will show you how many sites you can actually enter. So let's just say we try 10. Huh? So you can see the software will just automatically uh, update and create uh, 10 sites. So in this case, we're going to go back to five. There we go. So the next thing here is the dimension. So how big you want to make this uh, in two. So for the purpose of our demonstration, I only going to keep it to about, um, about 10 cm there about. So 115, 5115. And uh, this dimension, uh, you can select either as an internal dimension or uh, external dimension, which you can select from the uh, setup here. So if you selected inside di uh, diameter, so when you key in the value, it's based on the internal volume. Uh, if you were to select outside diameter, that will be your external size, All right? So let's just go back to internal. So uh, next thing, uh, is the thickness of the material. So the software is smart enough that will based on the material you have, and then you'll make the adjustment uh, for the, uh, uh, to auto-generate the design. Uh, so in this case, the material I have in hand is uh, 3mm, uh, but you can see that you can actually, there's a drop-down menu, you can just select whatever size you want. Uh. So we have 6mm, 12mm, uh, 
see the software will just auto compensate for it all right so the next thing down the manual uh the software will also ask you uh is this gonna be a closed box or a open box uh, what it means is that if you make an open box then it will be more like a container lah. Uh, so that you can just uh, drop stuff in. Uh, but in this case, uh, what we want is a closed box so that we can add some uh, uh, door and windows for our cat. Right? So I just keep it as close. Then we go to the last part. Right. The, the next thing here is the edge join. So the edge join meaning that uh, at the end of the day, when the panels are being uh, fabricated, um, how are you going to join um, it together? So flat join means that you probably have to use um, nails, glue, uh, or some other supporting uh, structure, uh, which is going to get a bit complicated. Um, so there is an alternative that you can just select the finger join. So there you go. So you can see that I just going to cycle between a finger join and a flat join. So this type of joint, you will need to use glue and nails. If you use finger joint, uh, you can use, uh, you don't need anything. Huh? You just uh, snap fit everything together. Um, so this is more convenient. Uh, last time, you probably take um, a very skilled carpenter or craftsman to make things like that that fit together. Uh, but right now with the software, you actually don't really need any skill. Huh? Uh, you can even adjust. Uh, the joints by kind of uh, adjusting the size here. So the smaller the finger join, um, the more thing, uh, the more uh, contact point uh, they're going to be, uh, meaning that uh, the joint will be stronger. Lah. So the lesser the amount of uh, joint, uh, the weaker it is. So you can see that. Uh, then again, uh, if it become too excessive, then uh, uh, it will be super tight for you to install the thing together. So normally, I just keep it about two or three uh, finger joint, uh, which is good enough. Then uh, that's it. You are ready to go. So all you need to do is to download the file. So uh, at the end of it, once you kind of get uh, the designs uh, you want, uh, you can just click the download box plan uh, under the uh, this icon. So they will lead, uh, they will just create uh, this in the uh, various format that you can choose. So at this juncture, there's only one thing that you need to do. Um, uh, this is going to get a bit technical, so I'm just going to like uh, brush through it. For those who are interested to understand why I need to enter this number, um, we will just uh, can, can message me separately. Uh, the only thing you need to key in is curve. So the uh, curve or key, whichever you want to pronounce it, uh, it's basically um, that when you use a saw and saw anything, right? Uh, basically, the saw has a thickness. So, um, so if you want to cut something 10 cm and you saw, you know, as, as you saw it uh, right between the joint, um, you will not get 10 cm, right? You will have uh, something minus the thickness of your saw. So in this case, the laser cutter uh, also have a, a cutting thickness. So the laser beam is about, I don't know, 0.2 mm uh, diameter. Um, so in this, the curve that you need to cater for is um, beam diameter divided by two. Uh, as you can see, the, 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 the formula there. So which means that uh, having a 0 0.2 mm uh, diameter means that it, the value should be 0 0.1, right? Because beam diameter is 0 0.2, ma, divided by two is 0 0.1. So with that, you are ready to go. So there are two formats that you can download for the, um, for the uh, technical folks who already have professional uh, 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 engineering software to design, then by all means download in DXF for your software. Uh, but for the rest of the uh, rest of us who don't have such a software, then we just download in SVG. Uh, so SVG basically is a vector software. So for those who do design and graphics, uh, this will be quite uh, familiar. Uh, but for the rest of the folks, uh, SVG is a open source format. So just download in SVG. So this is a preview. Everything looks good. So you can see it's, it's already downloaded, right? Down here.
So this form the so-called the, um, the raw material uh, for us to work with to integrate whatever design that you want to uh, make your cat house look nicer. So the so before uh, we draw uh, into the software that we're going to use, I will just run through this called Inkscape. So the software that I've been talking about that we're going to use later is called Inkscape. For those who are interested, can just uh, Google it uh, and then uh, find out what exactly this community is doing. So this whole whole company. Uh, uh, or this community of folks are all open source. All these are volunteers who came together and designed a software that is uh, free for us to use. And it is directly uh, in competition or uh, with Adobe Illustrator. For those who know that uh, professional software such as Adobe Illustrator, you need to pay a few thousand dollars uh, per year. Lah. Uh, for those who are not students. So in this case, Inkscape I came up something to compete with it totally free. Um, so this is the software. Uh, just download, uh, it can be used for, uh, for your Mac, uh, for Windows, uh, for a Linux system, uh, whichever you want it. Uh, various versions down here, right? So repeat again, uh, it's Inkscape. So just look on uh, online. So it's spelled as a uh, uh, ink as in I N K, scape as in uh, S C A P E. Okay. Dot O R G. All right. So once you downloaded this and then you open up. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to have a window. I'm going to share my new window. All right, so now you should be able to see my Inkscape window. So uh, once you downloaded your Inkscape, you open up, this is how it's going to look like. Um, uh, it uh, uh, looks very similar to uh, your graphic design software. Lah. Uh, so from here, uh, I can actually uh, import the box drawing, so which is already uh, imported already down here. So the now all you need to do is more or less uh, 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 customize it to your liking. Uh, so what I did is that I just go online, uh, find some nice graphics or uh, find or nice silhouettes that I can look for. So let me just share the screen again. Okay, to help to uh, decorate your 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 cat house, so you generally try to go. You I'm rather I mean if you don't want to draw yourself. Uh, the alternative is to go online uh, and find uh, nice graphics um, that you can use. Uh. Generally, vector graphics specifically will look something like black and white, um, like so. Right? So you can actually uh, download them uh, and then uh, import into Inkscape. And then from there, we will integrate it into the, the design. Uh, so what I have done is that I get uh, some cat paws, which is quite cute. And then also, I get the. Uh, Cat face, right? I think I have downloaded uh, two cat face. So one is this, and one is something like that, right? Uh, so basically, I want to have a, a main door entrance for the cat, and also I want to have a window for the cat. Uh, then also just have a paw uh, somewhere uh, for fun. Uh, huh? So I downloaded the image uh, as such, and then all I need to do is just import them in. Um, so Inkscape uh, allows you to, let me just share this Inkscape screen again. Okay. Right, uh, Inkscape allows you to import a lot of format files. So the drawings that you um, kind of like uh, 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 downloaded can come with a lot of format, lah. can be PNG, JPEG, BMP, GIF, uh, PDF, you name it. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Inkscape generally will able to import all format, right? So in this case, I've um, uh, downloaded these uh, JPEG files. And then what I'm going to do here is just to import and show you how it's done. Oh, but there you go. So this is the original uh, JPEG uh, image. Uh, the, then from here, um, uh, to make it into something that I can laser cut is that I need to convert into a vector. So uh, for those uh, who are first time understand this term vector, um, the difference between a picture file uh, and a vector file is that um, 
picture file like JPEG, BMP, they are made out of pixels, basically very fine dots that uh, kind of uh, put together to give you an image, right? Uh, whereas for vector, on the other hand, is a series of coordinates or path um, that linked together to form the outlines uh, of the artwork. So the for the so in this case we are doing digital fabrication. So using pixels doesn't really help um, the machine to know where to go. So you need uh, what I call the uh, vector or path uh, uh, information. So uh, in Inkscape you are able to convert the image into a vector. Um, so how this is done? Uh, just need to go select the object, uh, go up to the top of the screen under path. Just click object to path. Oh, sorry, uh, trace be met, my apologies. So you can trace the image down here. Uh, don't worry about the what setting I set. Uh, all this, uh, uh, yeah, if you're interested, we'll do this uh, uh, again, uh, like so. Then I'll just click it. Just click OK, and that's it. Right, so the uh, so once it's done, you can see that there's two files. Uh, one is the uh, vector file. Uh, the thing about vector file is that if I were to edit, I can edit every single node. So that is the beauty of a uh, vector versus a uh, picture. La. So uh, image file, you can only use like Photoshop, just add some filter, make it blur, make it whatnot. Uh, but for vector, you can actually edit every single point of the uh, drawing. So that's what. That's the difference between a vector and a image. Whereas I can't do this on an image. So at this juncture, that's it. We are ready to go. So all we need to do is to import all the necessary image for what you want to do, uh, and then size your graphics accordingly, uh, and then just put it. Let me just zoom this in. Right, so you just import the respective image, convert them into a vector, uh, and then just place it uh, how you like to imagine your cat house to be. Um, so in this case, uh, I use this uh, uh, artwork uh, to form the main entrance uh, for, the, uh, for the cat house. And then uh, this is kind of like a backdoor window thingy that I will just put down here. Right, and then uh, just for fun, I just have a uh, pore marks on the side of the uh, of the house. So then we are ready to, do, to go. So um, in this case, um, the canvas that I'm using is about A3 size, just because I'm using the small laser cutter. Um, obviously, uh, in this exercise, uh, once you guys have done the drawing, um, you can increase the size to however you want. So normally, you can go up to, I guess, uh, uh, 70 cm by 70 cm uh, size if you want. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it to uh, A3, which is about 30 cm by 42 cm. Uh, obviously, most cat is bigger than that. Um, so select the whole thing, and then we just, at, at the click of a button, we are ready to create the file needed to make a uh, sample laser cutter, cutting. So cat cut one, apply. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now is just to take the file, uh, turn on the machine, put in the material, uh, and then laser cut. And then probably in about six to seven minutes time, uh, you should see a cat house ready to go. All right. So, but again, I will, I will uh, for those who want uh, to ask any question uh, or I'm going too fast, uh, please let me know. Uh, I can... Uh, either type into the message or I can uh, repeat here, right? All right, so uh, I'm going to turn on the machine, uh, the bit of sound. Um, I will try see to leave my mic on just so I can talk through it. But if you guys feel that the background noise is just too noisy, uh, then probably I have to mute myself. Huh? Just give me a moment. Thank you, Kiwi. Okay, as uh, he's laser cutting the, the, the design, if anyone has, uh, oh, okay. Could you repeat the last three steps? Uh? Oh, okay. Uh, don't worry. All this will be, um, this video will be shared. So uh, 
Oh, are you, if you're trying to follow, then maybe uh, Kiwi can can just yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so the last three sets. Can can. Okay, so the last three set basically uh are just with Mera. So the um the first step is that uh, once you import the image, um you can convert them into vector. Um, so how you convert a vector? Uh, just use under path, and then use the trace bitmap function. Right, the trace bitmap function will convert uh, any image into a vector. Uh, so for the purpose of digital fabrication, we need vector information uh, to help us with laser cutting. So, uh, so this is a very simple uh, uh, tool that you just use from Inkscape uh, to convert into a vector. Uh, so the next step is the um, sizing uh, your graphics into your desired requirement, like so. Right, just click and drop and drag. That is simple as that, very intuitive. Uh, position as wherever you like, right, to, to, uh, for the cutting. So basically just to show you, um, the laser cutter is going to go through, uh, like a pen knife, uh, it will cut through anything that has a border. So in this case, the red color lines will be cut out just because there's lines there. Uh, in the in the in the black part, same thing. The laser cutter is just gonna cut the outline of the cat, so and so forth. So this is how laser cutter does. So if you put a if you draw a circle here, then it's gonna cut the circle outline. So if you can imagine, if I were to cut the uh, polygon out, and then I cut the cat from the polygon, and then I cut a circle from the polygon, what's gonna happen? I just got gonna have myself a polygon. With a hole and a cat face, uh, 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 gap inside, right? So just to further illustrate that. Uh, mm. So if you can see from my video, uh, my face, you can see this is the hole, because the black color part is cut out, so I can trash it out. I can take that away, and it become a opening for the laser cutter, uh, for your cat. Mm. Right, then the last step, uh, as I mentioned, simply select all the file. Uh, under, um, so the Inkscape offer a lot of extension now. So one of the extension is to allow you to send for laser cutting. Um, when you download uh, initially from the uh, online, it won't have this, uh, but I don't want to drag too much technical stuff uh, in this uh, uh, Zoom meeting. Um, so for those interested to how to install the, the extension, uh, can just let me know. I will uh, uh, share the information. So basically, uh, there are uh, about a few hundred uh, extensions available on Inkscape that you can subsequently install. Uh, one of it is for laser cutting. So when I select this for laser cutting, uh, all I need to change is the font name. That, that is about it. Uh, so when it's done, uh, what's going to happen uh, is that uh, there will be a text file called uh, what we normally call in the industry called G-code. Uh, G-code just basically a set of machine instruction uh, to tell the laser cutter what to do. Uh, so normally uh, those will be safe on your desktop. So Hello. What I'll do you're breaking out. Okay. So the the I the the after the last step of a uh, text file. Uh, what we call the G code will be created. Uh, this is uh, norm normally safe on your desktop. Mm. Uh, so TV, there's a question here uh, from Kelly. It says that uh, she doesn't see the, a laser cut in extension. Is it an add on? Yes, it's an add on. Yeah, so the, uh, so the add on, uh, if you, if I, uh, I can, what I can do for you is that. Um, I just gonna, you can see this generate G code for repeat here. If you just type that uh, into your Google, you should be able to find the extension and then the installation instruction is down there. Uh, if you can follow that, uh, your Inkscape will have uh, this function. All right. But nonetheless, uh, this is really very specific to our laser cutter. So it's not really necessary for you to have it uh, because uh, if let's say under this project you have a design, all I need from you is your design. I don't need you to send it uh, as a laser cutter file. I will do that part for you. Okay. 
So obviously, if you purchase our machine, then I will teach you the whole thing. But other than that, uh, for this uh, exercise, you just need to design it uh, like that only. Then send me, then I'll do the rest for you. So uh, going back, um, the file created uh, is just going to be a text file, which, uh, uh, which I will just copy into an SD card. Uh, uh, the file is really on my desktop, so I don't need to show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shift the screen um, to the physical world already. So I'm going to stop share. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Sorry about that. All right, from here on, uh, I have the file now. Uh, just uh, copy and paste onto my SD card from my uh, computer. So what I'm going to do. is going to show you the, um, uh, the process. Uh. Uh, I'm going to remove my mic a bit because this is not long enough. Uh, so if those, uh, uh, I'm just going to run through what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the material. Uh, into the machine. I'm going to use the, uh, my video and show you how it's done. Uh, and then I'm going to insert the file and then we're going to start cutting. I'm going to show, I have a camera behind me. I'm going to put it closer to the, uh, my screen, show you the cutting process uh, uh, in the machine, uh, just so that you can appreciate how laser cutting is um, doing inside. Huh? Thanks, Amy. Mm. Is it me? So I'll insert the SD card uh, into the machine. So there's all the thing. Uh. So, okay, so the machine will read the, uh, what you call the uh, uh, code from the SD card. I can connect to my PC if I want. Uh, Kiwi, oh. breaking up, Kiwi. Oh, sorry. Mm. All right. Yeah. I think you yeah. cut, uh, then uh, you, you proceed to cutting. Yeah, and well, then, I'm proceeding uh, cutting. All right, you can just talk to uh, my end. So I'm going to mute my, mm. uh, my site and I'll just show you the process as you're going. Right. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Kiwi. Yes, as the design is cutting, is there anyone with questions? Uh, we can now uh, open up to anyone with cat questions about cat care or cat design. And also, if anyone has really um, uh, gotten yourself uh, into it and designing something uh, and you want to share with us, you can just open the screen and share your design with us, okay? I'm going to share uh, just simply the next slide, which is that this is my email. So if you have a cat house design uh, that you've done today, now, or you think, oh, no, no, I, I, after this, I got to go and think carefully, like, you know, and see wow, what magic I can come up with. Yeah, uh, please spend some time to do that. And then uh, once you have the design, you can uh, email to me. Hmm. Oh, Kiwi, your mute. Oh, he's trying to show you the laser cutting, really. Hmm. It's the machine's doing its job. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not talking, so I just have to put the yes. screen down there, continue what you're doing, uh, and then I'm just going to switch here because I have a book scan, uh, this program. Oh, can't see TV screen, too small. Oh, uh, uh, standby, ah. Uh. Yeah. Can you see clearly now? Yeah, it's going zing, 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 zing. Okay, bro, you can continue. I just got to put the camera, uh, the, the video here, ah. Uh. Mm. Right, and then you uh, take a view myself, huh? Okay. Right. Okay, so, um, have you all been, like, uh, any of you, like, uh, been liaising with uh, Laura in the cat room? 
maybe we can uh, open up to chats already. So Laura, if you want to unmute, we can just uh, chit chat. Oh, okay, it's me, is it? Okay, why don't I, I stop my share? Okay, I put my email here. Hello. Okay, hold on. Uh. Yeah, I think I, sh I stopped my share because someone is saying that uh, the window too small. Okay. I'm just going to put my email there. For anyone who wants to email me about your cat design or any other questions, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, hi, Laura. Oh, we're back. <laughs> so, uh, have you been... Uh, any, there were, was there any questions about uh, cat care while we were doing the whole designing thing? Hmm. Uh, no. No, there, there wasn't been. Yeah. Okay. It's mm. okay. It's okay. Mm. Uh, his designs are really very interesting. Mm. No worries. Yeah. So where are the cats now? As a um, thing is. I, I think if you you can see Kara sitting on the on the mat now in under. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, correct, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, sleeping yeah. already. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I left her alone. So yeah. So there she is. You 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 can see she's like just beside the lamp because it's warmer in that area. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh there's we... a question. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yes. Uh there's a question say, uh Kiwi, what other materials can be used in the laser cutter? In the laser cut machine. Okay, the um so the the laser we are using is called um the CO2 laser cutter. Uh, what it just means for momentum uh, is infrared laser. Uh, so generally it's used on organ organic material, uh, leather, acrylic, uh, plastic, uh, basically, uh, plywood, MDF board, cardboard, paper, fabric. Uh, all these are good game. Um, so, so we are not limited to just uh, making uh, structural stuff like a cat house. Uh, you can use it uh, to make your own upcycled uh, apparel. Um, and the material, um, let's just say you yeah, want to use as acrylic, for instance, right? It's actually quite easily accessible in Singapore. Um, there's a big company called uh, Dama, D A M A. Uh, they just supply the acrylic um, for the whole of Singapore. Lah. Um, their price is actually quite, 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 quite reasonable. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Laura, are you still there? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, so how's life like after cat welfare? <laughs> um, I think I'm still busy. Um, I, I mean, I went into social work and now I'm still fostering and, and that's why I've actually kind of like stopped taking in cats until I bring home the current ones that I had mm. because doing social work and then doing rescuing and fostering is just a lot of... Uh, a lot of effort and commitment so and you can see here poppy is very very needy yeah so she takes a lot of my time yeah <laughs> how are you yes very good i think uh, doing arts project uh, is definitely uh, much more uh, therapeutic and then <laughs> the craziness that we uh, experience uh, during cat welfare <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yes. I can see how therapeutic this is. Mm. I'm very interested to see, mm. see the ending. Yes. So, oh, Celine has a question. If there are two cats who want the same box and are not friends, but they want to occupy the same space, what <laughs> type of house would work? Uh, I was. Wow. How do you get two cats who don't like each other to share the space? I think this is a question. <laughs> I, I mean, at home, even if I put a card box, like three of the cats are really fighting for one space. So probably something flexible. <laughs> Yeah, so they is saying if there are two boxes, they will still try to go to the same box. Yes, yeah, they are a bit like that. Yeah. <laughs> they like just this. have to learn to share, you know. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. 
sorry, uh, there was a question uh, about the company that um, uh, Kiwi mentioned. Do you mean the, the company to buy the acrylic? It's, uh, it's called Dama, I think. Oh, am I right, uh, Kiwi? Am I pronouncing? Is it D-A-M-M-A? Yeah, D-A-M-A. D-A-M-A. Dama Trading uh, Private Limited. Hmm. Okay, so uh, somebody was saying, yeah, okay, the one solution is to have a two-story house it to, so that one on each floor. Uh. <laughs> uh, or will this be right for the same floor? <laughs> But that's a good idea, having two levels, definitely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For the, the good thing about laser cutting is that uh, they are repeatable. So you can just make another cut house uh, and then stack them together. And, or you can yeah, put yeah, yeah. cut house together if you want. Yes. It's modular, right? So you build yeah. one and then you build one, yeah. And it's like modular, modular. Because uh, effort, like... uh, the effort requires really nothing. Like for example, uh, I've been holding on to the camera the whole time around so that I'm not doing anything. Uh, to actually make the uh, the, cows, the, the the machine is doing everything. In fact, we are about 90% done uh, in this short seven minutes. So that is how fast. I mean, yes, it's a scaled down model, but it's not that small also. Uh, I would just say that uh, your bigger cat house will take at best three times um, the time uh, because of three times the size. That is about it. Still talking about within half an hour, one hour, uh, you can actually fabricate your own uh, cat house, which I think is... Um, uh, really very productive. Uh. So anyway, uh, we are getting done soon. So I'm going to um, put the camera over mm. the machine yep. uh, to show you how I take the uh, yes. product. Mm. So it's already eight thirty, yeah. and as you can see, the ding 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 ding, the library is going to close soon. So I want to be kicked out. So if you have any questions, uh, yeah, feel free to to ask us now, or you can ask me through my email. Yes, yeah. Mm. So any last words, uh, Laura? Uh, no, I mean, I mean everybody will be yeah. like, please adopt the cats, give them a home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you know anybody who's keen to adopt, just relate them to, to me. Um, and I can also network with other fosterers for available cats that is up for adoption as well. Mm. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah, cat house is, the mama. mini cat house for a very tiny cat is now done. <laughs> Yay! Ready, mm. Okay. So, well, I'll be coming to the end of the session. Uh, do keep in touch and please come to our our exhibition uh, in April, the 1st to 14th in Jurong Library. You can see all the things that uh, uh, we have learned and they were applied to our art practice. And of course, uh, also there was one question where uh, it says that, um, uh, yeah, you can go to make it space in the library. Yes, the whole thing uh, we are doing this collaboration, of course, uh, the library is also trying to tell people, hey, go and book, it's free. Okay, it's free if you're a library member, you can book to use the Make It Space in, in the library, okay? And uh, for the exhibition, it will be open during uh, working hours. Uh, sorry, the library opening hours. So uh, free and easy, you can walk in and, um, and look at the exhibition. It will be in different spaces around the, the, the library. So you have to kind of look for it. Of course, there's a map, la. you can take the map and then you can look for the artworks in and between the books and the shelves in the library. Yeah. Mm. Okay, if there's not any more questions, right? Let's all say goodbye to the cats that we have on our screens or anywhere around us. If anyone <laughs> wants to show us their cats, it's a last chance, show me your cat. <laughs> the beautiful cats are coming online now. Mm. They're so cute. Yes.
Yes. So yay. yay. Yeah, the cat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if that's um, all for now, then uh, thank you very much for joining us for this session. And uh, yes, uh, keep in touch. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Laura. Chat with you soon, okay? Hey, thanks, Diane, for joining us. Thanks, Kiwi. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Starfire. Bye, Fluffy.